Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here. Today we're gonna be talking about the brand new Octane Prestige skin, otherwise known as Riptide. Now, it is releasing with the Urban Assault Collection event in just a week or two, but there are some ways that you can actually get it cheaper, especially with the recent hijinks that have been going on within Apex Legends that we're gonna cover today. So we're gonna go over all of that. We're also gonna go ahead and give out one of the Cobalt Heirlooms as it is the last week to be able to get it. All you guys gotta do is like, comment, subscribe as always, and you'll be entered for a chance to win. But without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So on April 23rd, about 10 days away, we are going to be getting the Urban Assault Collection event, which is going to be one of our typical collection events. That's right. It's not going to be one with 36 different packs that has a random chance of dropping an heirloom. This is going to be our typical 24 item collection event, which will feature actually brand new skins. As you can see here, there are a lot of really cool ones. I personally love the cyberpunk noir style they're going with. I mean, I guess not noir, but cyberpunk. Wraith and Valkyrie particularly look good. Vantage finally got one of her first skins. Newcastle is a pretty banger one. Rampart is included. I'm not sure how I feel about the Lobo one. And there are are a ton of other skins in here as well for weaponry there are some cool epic ones for seer and revenant and horizon that you can see and the banner frames but the most exciting thing about this is if you collect every single thing in the event you will be able to get the first ever octane prestige skin named riptide that is correct it is themed after sharks i don't know really why they went with shark theme i don't think octane has ever referenced sharks in his entire life nor are sharks even the fastest fish in the sea i think a cheetah would have been more applicable if you were going to go with an animal one but whatever regardless you can unlock the three tiers and then you will be able to get the new high tide skydive trail which does feature sharks again in it. why not cheetahs i just i don't understand respawn it also has the brand new finisher death dive that you can see right here credit to hypermiss for all the images that you guys are seeing and overall it does look pretty cool the best part though is that it does appear that because there are trackers coming back three strikes will be the ltm we can be looking forward to playing in this which is absolutely phenomenal now once again to get this heirloom you will have to buy all the event skin don't forget out of those 12 legends legendaries we went over two of them will actually be in a store rotation one you can buy with seven apex packs and one with three apex packs what you're seeing on the screen right now is from the anniversary event this is the best way to do it as it is a cheaper way to knock out around 12 overall skins which is half the collection event and you can do it for much cheaper than normal there is some good and bad news with the free prize tracker one we get free stuff sadly though there is no collection event packs like the imperial guard one as well which means that you will not be able to get any free packs during this event so this is definitely one that you're gonna have to shell out money for now, in regards to crafting the heirloom, which will save you a ton of money on it, it is important to know that there was a Belgium trick where you could change your EA account and then you would be able to get crafting material on the battle pass so you could acquire it more easily. Now, this had actually been turned off by Respawn no longer eligible. However, a player found out that if you do it via the EA app, you can actually still enable this. I'm actually going to go ahead and play a tutorial right here on how to change it in the EA app in case you've never seen it so that you guys can go ahead and do this as soon as possible before it is patched and fixed. So, in order to do so, we first of all have to start the ea launcher of course next we need to head over to the top right hand corner and click on our profile then this little menu pops up here we have to go to settings then we have to switch to the second option at the top which is application and here we have this point which is select region and as you can see by clicking on this box we can select one of many different regions for, for example i could go ahead and select united kingdom for example and then you can see the launcher kind of restarts again and now i have already changed my region to United Kingdom. That being said, if you go ahead and buy the bundles as they are listed, you can get two legendary skins automatically plus 10 Apex packs, which is half the collection event for only $75 or 7,500 Apex coins, depending on your region, which is a huge discount. Now, from this point with your excess material, you're actually going to want to craft the epic ones first, as they only cost 800 in a collection event, whereas the legendaries cost 2,400, which is absolutely massive. And you can actually get a lot of the epics actually taken out of the loot pool in your Apex packs before you open any of the packs from buying the bundles craft first that way you guarantee legendaries in those bundled skin packs that way you're only left with a couple of packs to open to finish off the entire event this is the best method that will actually save you somewhere around the line of 20 to 60 dollars depending on how lucky and well you do this there's also some things you can do right now to start saving up the crafting material for instance we have the shadow society collection event going on right now and you can actually go ahead and use your in-game currency from that event specifically to buy crafting material so i would start 
start stocking up on that as soon as possible in preparation for the urban assault collection event along with that apex legends also just gave out free eight apex packs and if you're really really lucky and you open them you could get heirloom shards in those and then just make sure to save it for when the urban assault collection event ends because that is when the octane prestige skin will actually be in the normal store and you'll be able to craft it slash use the shards on them whenever you want let me know down below are you guys excited for the octane prestige skin do you think it's kind of mid or do you think that it is a good investment and that it is very cool for the character also don't forget to check out this channel right here where i cover video game news on hell divers power world the finals and so much more and until next time legends keep slaying the outlands and i'll see you out there